Hi there, welcome. It's Anna here and it is Wednesday. Wednesdays I have a day off work and that is where when I do my use it or lose it. And today I thought we would be making things with book pages. If you are anything like me, you have... Uh, <laughs> I always, almost always, make my books out of repurposed book covers and that is when you end up with piles of these. This is text blocks from old books that I have used and I have used the covers and some of the pages but you still have lots and lots of them left. So I thought we would use up some of it. How about that? I have no big plan but since I am still working on my botanical journals, I have some fussy cuts, I have some Tim Holtz ephemera and other things picked out to decorate with and uh, my glue and my distress ink. So let's just start making things with those pages. Uh, I usually, when I, if I remember, <laughs> When I dismantle a book, I write the year it was published on the back of it. Uh, and that is so that if I use it in a journal, I can write the date of publishing down in the corner in pencil so that people know how old they are. And this is a 1920s book about botanicals, uh, flowers. So uh, let's use some of these pages. Uh, I think that could be cool. And I especially like using the index pages because I think they look really cool when you do things with them. But I think I will be making lots of pockets and journaling spots and things if you if you wonder what I'm going to do with those pages. Um, I'm going to start by finding a page that is kind of not full with text, but has some white on it. Because I have an idea, I have a pocket I make many times. And this is not how you're supposed to do the use it or lose it. You're just gonna rip the pages from start to bottom. But I have an idea. Not much white in this book. Every page is filled to the brim with text. Let's look at another one. This is a book from 1863. It's quite old and I love the, the paper here. Let's use this one. I'm just going to rip it out. And I will fold it. Folding. Why didn't you tell me, Anna, you are doing the crooked folding? Like that. And I think I have to get rid of some of the edges as well to make this work. So I am going to take a ruler. And rip the edge. That went smoothly. Why isn't it working? <laughs> it's not doing what I want it to do. Maybe I should do this one. Yeah, I have to rip down the bottom of this one. So now I have a, quite a small piece of the book page and I will just fold one corner down. So what we will do is that we glue this shut first. I should have done before I did the folding. I will use my mono Tombow Mono Glue Stick Professional. I am in love with this glue. I think it is really good. I have also used the Prit glue stick lately, but I think 
that is curling the pages more than this is. I don't know why. Let's just flatten it a bit. And then I am going to fold down the corner. And I want to make a bit of a crease in there so that you can see that it is folded. I want to um, ink it a little bit, of course, because why not? I love inking. Like so. I still want that corner to be folded up a bit. And I am going to use, I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue here. I promise this is art glitter glue. I just, the etiquette, the label on it was cracking and going away. Because I tend to buy those small bottles, smaller, not so small, but then I buy the big bottles as well. And then I refill them. So I use my, um, my bottles quite a long time. And there we have a small pocket. It's a corner pocket, as you can tell. And I just want something on it, a small decoration. So let's see what we can find. Let's get this. I'm trying to not to make any noises today because I know people found that quite annoying last time. That's too big. And beautiful mushroom. Or maybe something black and white. Or could use that one. Or just maybe a big label. How about that? Um, let me see what I got. This is just a, you know trellis notebook style insert that I made and I sewed around the edges and then I glued down um, vellum stri strips in it to uh, hold my labels and I have all kind of things in here. Uh, I love those botanical ones. I believe those are Tracy Fox. I bought them when I was quite new to junk journaling and had the idea that everyone has to be using Printables, and that is not a fact. You don't have to be using printables, you can use whatever you like because junk journaling is all about using junk. That's my idea, anyway. Um, but now that I have them, I can use them, I think. Is that one, and then I can have a How about a blank label? Do I have any blank labels? Maybe I do over here in Tim Holtz. Too big. Too big. I need my tweezers. Where are my tweezers? I hear them. There they are. That's even bigger. We can do something like this, maybe. Kind of like that. Maybe I should use this one. Not so big, or a red one. Because labels are great, I think. I use them all the time. Better for this one, I think. So this is uh, Tim Holtz ephemera. And this is a printable. You can use whatever you like. You can make your own labels. I have also been doing the, the trend where you buy, buy, you have a stamp, like that's a label, and then you stamp all over either pages like this, or 
uh, on blank pages or tea dye pages and then you uh, stamp something inside the label as well and then cut them out so you make your own labels kind of I have been doing that as well but I haven't been cutting them out so I have to do that uh, that's a great way thing to do when I'm on holiday we have a caravan not a caravan, a mobile home uh, and we um, a trailer that's what it's called, camping trailer uh, and when we are out with that, I don't bring my junk junk and stuff, but I bring things to Fussy Cut most of the time. And that is perfect to do. Last year I was Fussy Cutting an, an, almost an entire book of birds that I have been using since. And um, I think I'm going to concentrate on flowers and labels this year, depending on how long we will be away. That's the perfect uh, things, way to spend an evening sitting with some coffee or wine maybe and fussy cutting and listening to audiobooks. That is my perfect evening in a... Look at that. I'm pleased with it. Number one is done. So that was one of my basic pockets. Let's make some other things let's see i want a i want quite a bigger a little bit bigger book i could use this one as well uh, and i'm just gonna take i don't want an entire folio i just want a single page so i'm gonna rip that and i don't mind that and i don't mind this either I think it's quite nice looking and what I will be doing is that I will be making a pocket I think a flippy outy pocket that's why I didn't fold it all the way because if I do that I have a um, an edge to put around the page and then make it flip out and I think I want this to be the top and this to be the bottom. And I think... Ooh, now I have another idea. How about adding some writing space to this as well? Let me just grab some paper. Two seconds. a bunch of small tea dyed paper and I want to add some writing space. This is kind of bullet journal paper that I tea dyed and I can uh, rip it in half and add it to there. Then it is kind of a pocket but also a writing space. And you can clip it onto the edge of the page. It is a floating pocket. So I will start by gluing this. And this. I could have made gussets in this pocket, but no. It doesn't need to be big and heavy since we are going to make it a floating pocket. Because then the pages can, you know, be bent. And let's add that. You could make this into a whole pad. I could have used both, actually. But now I'm not. I'm just going to use this one. Um, like that. And I'm making it up as we go along here. And this is a great mess make. You can make like, <laughs> you have lots of book pages, uh, so just use them. I like that little page number down there. So, and I want a notch up here so that we know 
that uh, that is a pocket and I'm gonna eyeball it like that great so now we have a pocket with some writing space and I want to decorate this and I might want to put some um, more writing space there and just decorate the front not sure let's get the ephemera uh, out let's remove this one I am drawn to this I don't know why and I also like this one but the black and whites are cool as well that's quite big though and the reason why I have pulled out the Tim Holtz things are that I once again trying to use it up I bought this in in my um, oh I like that let's get this let's go with that I bought this when I was quite new and I continue buying them thinking that uh, Tim Holtz is a thing you should use and it doesn't have to be it, you can use whatever you like here are some labels that I cut out of a pig pad that I have all kind of things and white there and yes I am hoarding the owl <laughs> you know me I love the owls so let's ink this up and put it down I quite like that I am using uh, gather twigs that is my current favorite I tend to go between gather twigs and vintage photo and um, sometimes I even like black soot and I am as I said I think it was last Wednesday or maybe it was recently uh, I think I am going to get the um, scorched timber because i think that is it looks great yeah i, I like walnut stain as well so i think the the scorched timber will be great let's just once again eyeball this before you pluck it down i want this kind of a bit over there and you have to yeah i'm making mental notes on where to put it So how is everyone doing? It's Wednesday, I haven't filmed yet this week. I did some extra films this weekend and published. I've been working. I might do one more this afternoon, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet, it depends on what's going on. And I'm using um, a towel to pat it down in case the glue seeps out. And then you just put a tag in here and clip it onto a pitch. Let me just show you what I mean. Um, let's use the same book. Oops. You have a book, you have a book page, and you put it around it, and you put a paper clip or a little clip of those, and then you have writing space and the pocket. Love that. So that is two things made. Uh, let's make at least one or two more. We're not even at 20 minutes. That is great. Uh, let do uh, another wrap around because I like wrap arounds and I want to let's let's use some of this um, 
blue paper. Because that's also great quality. Maybe that's better than that. And what I want to do is that I simply want to fold this up to make a bit of a pocket. Then I want to fold it in half. This is very advanced. I, very advanced. I believe everyone can do it. And you have two pockets. I think I'm going to make a little notch there. And then we're going to decorate. And this is not very big, but quite fun. Just eyeballing it once again, no measuring, getting rid of the extras, and I think I want to glue it on first, yes. So this is also a great way to use up your book pages. Mass making or and don't decorate them until you know what, what book you're going to use them in. And some books I use as glue books, like this one, because I, I simply um, can't use every book page. Oh, I should have inked that. But that is actually easy to remedy, because you just put the book back in the pocket, <laughs> like that. Now you can ink it. How about that? And that's pretty there. We're also testing the pocket here. And doing a bit of inking. Yes, perfect. I don't need more than that. So we have two pages, two sides to decorate. And I might want to go with the botanical ones again. So let's see if I have any small botanical professor cuts. I think those are all too big, to be honest. Yeah, might that leaf might work. A bit boring. So once again, we are looking into the Tim Holtz stash. And we want small things now, so let's move the big things out of the way. Why am I drawn to the black and white today? Can you tell me? Give it a little. Oh, that's. But that is not horizontal. That would be cute. We have some other things here. Too big. That's another one of those rows. Beats. We have colored leaves. Some of them you could put on both sides like that. And then it would be great if they were the same size, right? Those were the same size. That would be cool. Yes, that's one side. Bingo. And the other side, let's put this on because it's the perfect shape. Yeah. So, once again, get the trusty, grab the twigs and just in the edges so that they are not starch white. I love this little tweezer and I know many of you actually bought kind of the same ones. I have another pair, looks like this. They are a bit more pointed and sharp. Though those are also the <laughs> what are they called? Tweezers things. Um, I love using them because then I can I don't have to can keep my um, 
I can glue it and I can see and I can keep my fingers kind of clean. And I just position it and then I plop it down like that. And once again using the paper towel to get rid of the excess glue. Kind of like that. Could have put a little label there. Might do that. And now to this side, let's ink the these leaves. The thing I do not like, I like Timor's ephemera, but the thing that I dislike about it is the white edges around everything. And I realize it's not easy when you do it by machine, but I'm, a, I'm allergic to the white edges. And that's why I don't. I try to make my own ephemera nowadays, but I want to use up what I have bought and not throw things out. I like that. Get it with the tweezer, get some glue on. So this is three kind of pockets I have made today. Let's make some German card as well maybe. Almost meet in the middle there. Don't forget to put the pin back in the glue. And that's a great background. Once again, get the book. And there is a pocket. And there is a pocket. And this could be moved to any side in the book. So I kind of like doing these kind of, sp not special, but use it, use it up. And I think I want to round the edges as well while I'm at it. And I'm using my ordinary corner rounder. Becky, is, Becky Higgins, it says. So I am doing one corner at a time because I didn't do that. I wasn't so exact when... Uh, Maybe I should do the ones at the top as well, even though they are all raw edges. So cute, cute. I'm still contemplating the little label there just to um, As I usually say, who am I kidding? Of course I want to label. The small one. How about a little April? Yes, that was cute. That was cute. And a touch of ink on the edges of that one. And another. Let's plop it down with some glue. And if you use printables, you could um, easily glue printables down here. Uh, and you don't have to fussy cut them either. You could just put them on. So, did we want to make a journaling card? I believe we did. Uh, let's see, now I can use a bit smaller book page. I bought this one. Quite white if you compare it to the other ones. Just fold it over, glue it, and pat it 
ちゃんなんだっけ And now, since I want this to be a journaling card, I am going to put some、uh, tea dye paper or other paper on the back of it. So let's see if the piece we tore off fits. It's a bit big. Let's just do like this. And use some of it, that would be perfect. Yes, let's do it and tear that off like that. Cute, cute, and glue it down. So, I am using up tea dyed bullet journal paper that I have been hoarding and not knowing what to do with. I am using up my book pages. And I am using up my f ephemera. How about that? I'm using up lots of things here. Now I have a writable space. Let's decorate the front.、Um, and let's see, here we have to have some of my fussy cuts instead. How about the lilac? That is too big. Big, that's too bad because I really like that. How about this one? Could it be Camellia? It's also too big. I have to、um, cut the leaves a bit. I like it. I really like it.、Uh, what else do I have? That's also kind of. This one, that's a camellia. That could be a、hmm. something else. I'm not so good with flowers, I'm just pretending. Could put that there. But I really like this one. Yeah, the boldness. I loved it. So let's do it. And I think I want to cut out that green in there before I glue it down. <laughs> My smaller self healing cutting mat and just doing a bit of cutting. The reason I didn't do this when I fussy cut is because those stems are so thin that I don't even know where that's going, so I'm, not, I'm actually not going to keep that.、Um, and I don't want to. Break it before I even decide where I want to keep it. So that's better. And let's glue this. No, let's ink it first. And since I am such a vigorous inker, I will try to be a bit more, you know, gentle this time, at least around those thin stems. Be a dahlia, that's what the word I was looking for before. It could be a dahlia if you know, you could write it down below. I don't know, but it's actually not such a big deal either. And this will be a nice solo thing, I think it is.、Um, it's very pretty right there, so I don't need any labels or other things. Just going to go with this one flower, and we might cut the corners of the journaling card as well. Yes, and pin in the glue if I can find it there. And let's see. This will be either be cut off or maybe I can. Yeah, I folded it. How about that? Let's do a bit of patting it down. And of course, some glue sit through. I am loving this. 
very nice you have the text in the back and you have the big bold flower and you can journal on the back how about that pretty pretty so do we want to cut the corners with my fancy corner punch do we do we yeah we do it it makes a bit more um, finished polished look thing A little elegance in the rugged look. Yes, that's good. So, and I thought I was gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have a bit more glue in that corner. So, let's see. So, how about that? Great. I think that will be all we have time for today. Let me just check the time real quick. Yeah, we have 36 minutes, so I'll clear this off. We made this journaling card. Can we journal on the back of it? We made this pocket that is a double pocket that we can clip around the page. We made this pocket with a journaling space. That's also a floating pocket you can put around uh, the edge of a page. Or you could glue this side down and let this flip. That's also a, um, a possibility. And we made this little corner pocket. Quite cute. So, four things we made today with book pages. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Uh, give me a comment down below what you think. If you have any other ideas about what to make with uh, book pages. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do. Uh, I have gained quite a lot of new subscribers lately. And it's uh, nice to see our little community grow. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. For this use it or lose it. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.